Hello, welcome to Dante's Inferno, um, our let's play of, I suppose. And as you can see from this, um, this is the demo. The first three parts are the demo. Um, because, as you can probably tell by the date that this is released, the actual game isn't out yet. Which we just thought is quite good because this is level one, so it works out. But yeah, I'm Six Foot Beach God. Hello. Hi. Yes. Is this my bit? Yeah, this is your bit. Oh, but I'm not ready. Yes, you are. Go, go again. Just pretend this never happened. <laughs> and I'm Persona 7. Yes, good. Subtitles on, even though they are very small. But otherwise. Yes. And I've played through the demo several times. I'm going to go on the Z a lot, which is the harder difficulty of the two that you get on the demo. Um, so normal mode then. I suppose, yeah. But they don't call it normal, they call it Z a lot, which makes it better. Yeah. And actually, the implications I, the same. And by the way, very, very small um, subtitles. Oh, I can read them. Can you read them? And yeah. uh, I suppose the actual guys will see then. And by the way, this, um, I actually think, because I play this on HDMI as well, you're only seeing it on standard, but um, unless you're watching it in high Q, HQ. But otherwise, um, this is actually, I think, really, really good quality. Good quality graphics in this game. And because the screen of YouTube is quite compressed, it should be quite good quality on what you're watching it on as well, especially in the cutscenes, like now. Yeah, but when are you actually playing it? Gorgeous! Oh, and I probably have to say this now. Um, owned by this... Um, this game is owned, everything, like, all that, etc. Owned by Viscaral Games and EA and Viacom and all that. The character, the franchise, all owned, all owned by them. We do not claim ownership. All we're doing is a simple commentary. Yeah. And as per usual, all parts are commentated from right from beginning to end. So if you don't like commentary, please look elsewhere. And as you probably saw from the start, this is an 18. Um, and this guy's performing heart surgery, is he? No, he's he's sewing a um, a cloth cross onto his chest. Oh. Yeah. Why? Um, because... I think a tattoo would be less painful. I don't know, maybe he doesn't have the ink. But yes, this um, game has a bit of boobage in, so a um, bit of nudity, so you know, not suitable we'll all that. sensor bars, actually. No, we don't have to bloody sit for sticking the sensor bars. Yeah, we do, otherwise YouTube will take it down. Really? Genuinely. Honestly? Yeah. <laughs> Does that Genuinely. mean I'll Oh, balls. Alright. Don't worry, just send the footage by me and I'll... Uh, I could do that with you, Lee. Alright, well, gameplay. Uh, is this a dream sequence we're in? Uh, no, flashback. flashback. And I actually recorded this twice, twice because, I'm not going to spoil it, and the boss that you fight later, I'm not going to say what the boss is because it's damn awesome, um, it actually glitched out for me, which I was very surprised with, because it's a very well-made game and I wasn't expecting it to glitch, in that um, I kind of fell into the floor and couldn't get out. Um, <laughs> but... Um, the first time I recorded this, I got like a, um, I got nearly a 200 hit combo in this area. I was really depressed and I didn't, I didn't get anywhere near it in this one. Oh. And I'm not just making that up, I really did. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, uh, Devil May Cry and God of War hybrid. Uh, yes, it's, um, Devil May Cry is based on the same kind of books. It's made by, um, Dante Alighieri, something like that. That's also our main character. Devil May Cry is called Dante. Yes, and this guy's actually called Dante Alighieri, or, or whatever it's called. Uh, Alighieri. I like you. Alighieri. Actually, I think I've got it up on Wikipedia. Let me see. Alighieri. Um, Alighieri. Alighieri. Um, primary. Is he, is he, is he nationality or is he from uh, the probably, Latin? probably Italian. But Dante is a depicted knight as um, Depicted as a knight of the Third Crusade, who has a red tapestry de detailing the events of his life sewn onto his chest. Etc. 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 Um, but the French got the very tapestry. Yeah. So this guy's a walking museum. <laughs> he is. But yeah, it's full-on gameplay. We've already got a, a burning um, ship smashed into. Oh, and by the way, if you're human at this moment in time, why can he double jump? What humans can... do you know that can double jump? Throughout gaming history, a lot of human and non-human characters can double jump. 
for no inexplicable reason. So don't worry about it. And this is our first boss fight. And it's death. So you find so you have a problem with double jumping, but you don't mind death popping up and I know, but you are dead. Did, didn't you see the guy stab him in the back? The bishop assured us. But I love how everything looks in this game. It's so wonderful. Look, and because he's dead, it's not gonna be all beautiful and clear and butterflies going past and stuff, is it? He's just died. I am dead. Pay my legions of butterflies. <laughs> you are mine. Yeah, bitch. Drunk on my sweetness. So, uh, we've managed to play this boss fight? Um, yes, it's quite actually a hard boss fight, and if you're playing it on my difficulty, not on my difficulty, if you're playing it on the easiest one, it's actually not very hard at all. Well, if you're playing on easy mode, the boss is easier. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I don't like, understand that at all. Too easy. But this is the first game that I've actually had to play where, in the kind of normal difficulty, you've actually had to block. You will, my God. You will die if you do not block, I'm telling you now. Unless you like super powered at jumping or something, but yeah, an efficient dodger. But yeah, it's looking pretty fun. It is a very fun game. I mean, and it's not like other games in the the, the boss fight and stuff. It ha he has lots of different moves. I mean, he uses the same moves quite often and stuff. But I mean, he can teleport. He has like a massive area of effect thing. Just at one point, he kind of floats in the air and does like this massive kind of stabby thing, and it's like. Yeah. A really good range. It's a really good game just from what the demo. That's got for yeah. it's like I'm looking at this boss and it's looking good because it doesn't look like he's got like a regular tap pattern. He's just responding to now that's depression like he quick time events. No but um and it's um it'd be very, very long boss title fight if he didn't because if you saw how much health that guy and the Grim Reaper actually went down. Yeah. Like, but, um, after that quick time event. But I like it. I'm good at it. Especially in the demo, because I know which buttons you have to press. Ha! <laughs> ah. So I press them before they even pop up on the screen. I really don't like quick time events in cutscene, because like, say you wanted to go to the toilet, like, you wipe down your controller, you go to the toilet, then you come back and find out you're dead, you're like, ah, then you play it back, you find just out there's actually a quick time event that you missed in the cutscene, it's like, what? You could just, no. you could just play on the loo. People, pe yeah, I'll just grab my TV, my console, <laughs> just plug it into the bathroom which has no plugs, because that's a hazard. See? Oh, no. And now he's down to about third health, he's decided. Fuck this, I'm going to. Oh, we're to down to about a quarter. Yeah, I know. And we're blocking. I would. I was worried. Blocks can still take off a tiny bit of HP when he strikes in. Oh, yeah, a lot. Especially with the special, in like this kind of highly more special move. Yeah. But the oh. weird thing is, you can actually hit him whilst he's floating in midair by not jumping. Uh, hit him more underneath him, it still hurts him. Oh, no. Smoke is a part of him. Let's, let's, let's go with that. You hurt smoke, you hurt him. But yeah. Yes. Oh, and by the way, this is good editing. I'm proud of this. And at the end of this part, we we, we finish with um, killing him, and then the next part opens with a, a, a white screen fading into the cutscene. I like it. It's very good. I'll mention it in part two again. again. See how quickly I did yes. those quick time events. Just get to know what they do. And now you have his scythe. What is scythe? And now we're going to reap some lovely, lovely corn. And I'm just pressing Y over and over again. Back, back, back. No, no, please. Oh, he's so desperate. I'm dead. He shouldn't be winning. He kills people all the time. And first introduction to Guff. Soul. See you next time. Shove that out in the end. Whoops. Whoa.